a model which is for automated retail warehousing. And to do this, we're going to have a retail store, which is this acrylic stand over here. You notice it's got software on it. And the issue is, we'd like to know in the store when the store inventory gets low. An interesting technology we have here is auto ID technology. Auto ID, if you know, are radio frequency tags. I'll show you one here on the shelf. We'll turn over one of these packages. And you can see there's this little tiny tag on the bottom, which is costs pennies to make, has a little tiny chip. And the key feature of this is every chip has a unique number, a big number. And you can enumerate billions and billions of things. So this gives you a way to tag individual items, track what, where they go, what their life cycle is, attach other information to them. So with that, let's see what happens when we take one of these things off. So I'll put it back on. If we look up at the screen, we'll see shortly, in fact, on the left-hand side, we see the inventory tracking application for this retail store. This is all J2E environment. We use an app server. We use uh, JMS messaging. There's, we all use all the Java tools for XML to tie things together. When I take the CD off the shelf, I'll take off the, the Spark Solaris uh, Orion packaging. We'll notice that on the inventory, it decrements the count. So it knows instantly that I've removed something from the shelf and that the inventory is now lower. If I go ahead and take off a second item, we in fact will go below the threshold for reorder. You notice it's on the right hand side, out of stock gets triggered. It identifies the item, and in the warehouse, we have the robot starting to initiate an order for Spark Solaris, and it starts assembling the replenishment order of CDs. This can all be automated. These will be out in the truck in an hour, off to the retail store. So this is what you can see when you take two technologies and allow you to directly engage the edge. Auto ID, so you can actually track the world of things, and then the kind of automation you get with this Mitsubishi robot, which in fact is able to go and perform tasks like shipping tasks to send out their punishment. Now, key in this whole thing is what makes this easy to do. It used to be really hard to do this kind of stuff. Industrial automation used to be really a black art. But we have two little blue boxes in the back behind the robot. Do you see those back there? And each of those boxes has an Agile chip in it, which is a single chip uh, Java processor um, embedded solution. Uh, it's real-time Java capable. You put one of those in the box, you provide Ethernet access, it can control a very, very wide range of automation devices. Everything from enormous turbine generators in a power plant, down to industrial robots, down to printing presses, machine tools, and other very standard stuff for it. Right, and with, and with, and with very accurate timing, the, 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 the thing that the Agile folks do really, really well is getting the timing right. I mean, there are they're they're, they're sort of a bunch of sort of ex-military you know, aerospace guys, and, and you know, when, when, when they get the timing wrong, you know, people die. Um, which is which is a which is a good way to, to, to think about debugging. Yeah. So what else have we got in the box here? There's there's so so there's the agile systems up at the top, which turn like the arm and the and the conveyor belt become web services. That's right. This means it's instantly available across the network, across the Ethernet, and very standard paradigm, tying into all the JTME tools. For example, in this we use JMS messaging, we use the XML tools. We use uh, the standard app server, all that kind of stuff to do the integration. So you can see over here, this is controlled by the Agile boxes. I'd like to introduce our Mitsubishi robot arm, which is a very powerful, very versatile kind of a tool. Uh, this, by the way, is the same robot arm. This is the great, great grandson of the robot arm that was in Jurassic Park, picking up dinosaur eggs. Well, today we have it packed in cases, and it's become a very standard industrial tool. So there's a lot of pieces that can be generically controlled via the network. No longer black magic, no longer this amazing industrial automation. Very few right, people. right. So there's, there's, there's that that's turned those into, into web services, the RFID tags, which essentially turn a CD into a, into a web service. There's a, there's a JWD server sort of hiding in that box there. You could imagine all sorts of different things. 
sort of all being linked together, um, you know, creating a space around you that is, that is, that is really, really intelligent. Um, so thanks a lot, Jim.